This week we're going to read the letter H, humility. So here we go. Humility. The quote is from Mahatma Gandhi. I claim to be a simple individual liable to err like any other fellow mortal. I own, however, that I have humility enough to confess my errors and to retrace my steps. Isn't that great? I claim to be a simple individual liable to err like any other fellow mortal. I own, however, that I have a humility enough to confess my errors and to retrace my steps. Beautiful quote from Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, H is for humility. Immediately after your weight loss surgery, you may be excited by your progress as the pounds seem to melt away effortlessly. Who's had this experience? Right after surgery, the pounds seem to melt away effortlessly. But you must remain humble. This is a personal journey, not a race against others. Isn't that true? Have you been caught up or have you seen other people caught up comparing themselves to others? You know, this person's lost a lot more. I haven't lost fast enough. I thought I would have lost more by now. All that sort of stuff. You, you can't fall for that trap. This is a personal journey, not a race against others. While some surgeons often brag about their patient's success, as a percentage of weight loss, you and your surgeon must remember to remain humble and thankful for each ounce lost and every milestone reached. Each ounce lost and every milestone reached. Okay, so sometimes there are long periods where the scale doesn't move and you might get frustrated. There are natural plateaus, natural stalls. One of the very common ones that I talk about often is around the four to six week period when you're starting to reintroduce food into your diet, solid foods. There's a natural plateau right there, but people get so frustrated. Now, what I have to do with my patients is to keep them on track and say, hey man, you have to be grateful for your plateau. They go, I don't wanna be grateful for my plateau. I wanna lose weight. I said, you say that now until the day comes when you gain weight. Listen to me. Be thankful for your plateaus. Be thankful because you're not gaining weight. Yes? Because if you want some real frustration, it's not the plateau, it's the weight regain. And the weight regain starts because you start getting frustrated at the plateau. So every little ounce you lose, you're grateful for. And it also says, be grateful for every milestone reached. So it doesn't have to be pounds on the scale. In fact, that's a terrible measurement, by the way. You can use other things as measures of success. A lot of people do clothing sizes, right? So they'll say, I'm in a size 12. I can't believe I'm in a size eight. That's a great measure of success. In our group, we do something funny. We take pictures of seat belts, like when you're flying on an airplane and you pull out your, your, your strap so you're no longer um, having to have a seatbelt extender and people always take a picture of their seatbelt and we laugh because it ends up being a picture of their a picture of their crotch and we <laughs> and we post that and I say nice crotch you know that would be a great measure but other milestones would be something like hey you went back to school you got the promotion you got um, you divorced your abusive husband or spouse but even in those things, you have to stay humble. You have to show humility, right? So if you get a promotion, you have to say it's a blessing as opposed to saying, I'm so stressed out. I don't know how I'm going to deal with all of these new responsibilities. Dude, don't do that, right? If you go back to school, you say, I'm excited about starting school. I can't, I'm excited for the second chance as opposed to saying, I'm nervous. I'll never pass math or statistics. See, that, that's not a good attitude. Even when you, if you get a divorce, you should remain humble. By that I mean, you guys need to agree to part ways civilly. You have to grow up. You have to be the grown up, right? So don't be posting shit on social media about that other person, about how bad they treated you, about all the crap they do. No one cares about your, your, your crap, your drama. The reason why is because we all have our own drama to worry about. So it's more important that you take the high road Stay quiet, 
stay humble and say, you know, my, my partner and I, it didn't work out for us, but we have three beautiful children together and we'll always be tied together. And, and I've had the, pr the pleasure and the privilege of, of being married to my best friend for 20 years. It's unfortunate that it didn't work out, but you know, we'll, we'll try to make it work out for our kids. I mean, that's a much higher road to take. And I promise you, when you take this approach, it will affect your weight loss journey. I guarantee it. It will affect it. The stress, the anger, the resentment, all that. You see my hand motion when I'm doing this? That stress, the anger, resentment, that's holding on weight to you. Woo! That's holding on the weight. What I teach my patients is you need to release Release the weight, just let it go. Don't even lose weight, but just release the weight, okay? Let me keep going, I can talk about this forever. You will have periods where your weight loss will stall. Weight loss rarely proceeds in a straight line, so be humble as you face challenges. This is a lifelong marathon, not a weekend sprint. It is measured in years, not months. See, that's what we think. We think that weight loss should be measured in like a straight line. Oh my God, I lost five pounds this week. That means if I keep up this pace, it'll be 20 pounds in a month and I'll meet my goal in six months. Hashtag love my sleeve. Listen, it doesn't work that way. You're letting your ego get in your way. You're letting your expectations get in your way. You need to express humility and be like, I'm so grateful for the changes that's coming. I'm so grateful for my surgeon, my program. I'm so grateful I found Dr. V, you know, or don't like Dr. V, I don't care. But like you express gratitude and, and that gratitude is what keeps you on track during the plateaus, right? Because about half of you watching me right now is currently on a plateau or just broke a plateau. Is that true? Amen? I promise you, at least half of you are on a cur currently on a plateau. And the reason why I can tell you this is that last sentence. This is a lifelong marathon, not a weekend sprint. It is measured in years, not months. I should have written it's measured in decades. It's really measured in decades, okay? So when you brag and you celebrate too much, what happens is you are thinking too short term, right? When you learn how to do, like I, I get it, we like to post the pictures of the crotch shots, but that's a short term game. If you learn deeper skills like what I'm teaching you, like humility and staying humble, that's a lifelong skill. Now pay attention, that lifelong skill Humility stays with you through this entire lifelong weight loss journey. Duh! You get it? Like you don't have to calorie count. You don't, you don't have to weigh out your food. You don't have to be obsessive about every morsel that goes in your mouth if, if you practice gratitude and being a better person every day and trying to improve. You know, I had a very troubling um, meeting with a patient today who was not listening to me and she does not know what she doesn't know and I could not break it through to her as much as I love her and wanted to and, and want her to be successful for whatever reason wherever she is in her life she just was not hearing me and it was really breaking my heart because I'm trying to set her up for success for her entire life the rest of her life she I can't remember exactly how old she was but probably late 40s early 50s so she's got many years left to go. So you want to learn these new skills, okay? Oh, next paragraph. Humility should encompass every act or task that you endeavor. Humility is the backbone within which you eliminate criticism. That was the letter E. And thereby can accomplish many great things. Humility needs to be the backbone of everything you do. Humility needs to be the backbone. Like, oh, I'm just trying my best. Thank you very much. Like, I'm so grateful. 
Um, thank you for your praise. I'm just blessed to be on this journey. How, how can I lift you up? How can I serve others? That is the best way to win in life, quite honestly. It is not bragging and pushing other people down. It is actually staying humble and trying to lift other people up. And that's how you get lifted up. This weight loss journey, now listen, pay attention, watch me now. Watch me now. Your obesity is a burden that weighs you down. Like, oh, on heavy on your shoulders. All these burdens, right? And you see it all around you. As you start to shed the weight and you start to, if you are half conscious and introspective, you look around and you see the devastation that obesity has caused in your life. It's caused it to your marriage. It's affected your kids. It's affected how you interact at work. It's affect, it affects how you feel at the Christmas party. It affects about how you feel at family reunions. See, it's a heavy burden. And I often get asked, Dr. Vaughn, how do I get past that? And I'm telling you, the best way to get past it is through humility, staying humbled through this journey, just saying, saying, hey, I'm just trying to get better every day. I'm not in a race with anybody. I, I'm just trying to be better today than I was yesterday. That's it, man. Someone put that in the comment section because that's a big aha. The only race you're in is to try to get better today than you were yesterday. Be better today than you were yesterday, okay? Practice being humble by giving thanks to the universe and those around you for the blessings in your life. Start each morning by saying thank you, thank you. And regardless of what you think about Dr. B, I will tell you, I start every morning with thank you. I do my meditation, I come out of meditation, I say thank you for today. Thank you for today. Because it was it's not a guarantee that you're going to wake up. Trust me. Thank you for today. Thank you for, you know, having my surgery go smoothly. Thank you for my team. Oh, because the burden that's on your shoulders that caused you to be obese, you're looking for reasons to fail. Woo! You're looking for reasons and excuses for it to be hard. Because for many years, and for some of you, your whole life, you've had it hard. You've had this burden. It's been hard to walk further than other people. It's been hard to stand in front of the camera. It's been hard to stand up in front of the classroom and speak and talk. It's been harder for you. I get that. So after surgery, your tendency is to fall back to that old habit to criticize, to complain, to wish, to come faster, and that sort of stuff, right? And the best way to, to get beyond that, to end the drama, is to practice humility. Someone put that down, man. You wanna get rid of drama in your life? Practice humility, because the second you start being humble, you don't have time for all the drama games. You don't have time for all the bullshit on Facebook. And, and all the other criticisms of what people think. Because your only race, and it's a lifelong race, is to be better today than you were yesterday. That's humility. You like it? Letter H. Any ahas? What'd you learn? I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you at the next video.